Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about the waterfall chart in Tableau. The waterfall chart is a useful way to visualize the progression towards an outcome by showing the contributions made by individual parts. The waterfall chart is useful especially when you have a few parts contributing to the same outcome and you would like to understand the performance of each part. You can probably imagine that visualizing this in the traditional stack bar chart with individual parts squeezed together is not going to provide a clear and easily interpretable view of the whole story. Sometimes you may want to dive into the growth of certain metrics by understanding how much contribution of the growth are made by, say, various geolocations, customer segments, marketing channels, and or product types, etc. In this dashboard I have here, it shows the total sales by product category. As you can see, the waterfall chart looks like a staircase with steps up or down. It is easy to track which product category is contributing more or less to the total sales and how much contribution each category makes to the total sales. Now let's see how we can create the waterfall chart in Tableau. To create the waterfall chart, I first drag and drop the product category to the columns shelf. Then drop the sales metric to the rows shelf. Click to edit the table calculation of the sum of sales metric. Choose running total under calculation type and compute using table across. Go to the marks card and make sure to change the chart type to Gantt chart. Next, create a calculated field called negative sales. Inside the calculation, it computes the negative value of the sales metric. Drop this metric to the size mark. Go to the columns shelf and sort the product category using the sum of sales metric. Also drop the product category to the color mark. In the rows shelf, create another running sum of sales metric. Convert the second running sum of sales metric to dual axis. Make sure the secondary axis is synchronized with the main axis. Click the secondary axis and choose synchronize axis from the dropdown. You may want to hide the secondary access header. Now go to the marks card of the second sum of sales metric. Change the chart type from Gantt bar to circle. Drop the sales metric to the size mark. And you may want to edit the size of the circle. I want to put some finishing touches to the waterfall chart. For example, I would like to add labels to the chart. Drop the sum of sales metric to the label mark. Sometimes you may want to show the percent of sales made by product category rather than the total sales by product category. To compute the percent of sales, click to edit the table calculation. Select percent of total from the calculation type and compute using table across. Format the label and make sure to show percentage rather than currency. And that's it. Here, the total sales made by office machines is 2.2 million. It has contributed to nearly 15% of the total sales. On the other hand, rubber bands contribute least to the total sales by only 0.1%. You can easily tell from the waterfall chart which product category is contributing more or less to the total sales, and how much is the contribution made by each category. Okay, I hope you find this video helpful. Let me know if you have any comments or suggestions. Thanks for watching and see you next time.